Hey guys, welcome back to the MyGo YouTube channel. Got the new Mars Hydro TS1000 here to review. Haven't seen it yet. It's the new 2022 model uh, Mars Hydro sent me, so I'm gonna unbox it and give you my initial thoughts. They have some uh, blurb here that they sent me. So test hang height 16 inches, test coverage two foot by two foot. We'll test it in the, um, in the test area after unboxing um do, 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 do. new version uh it's upgraded to white baked painting shell with 120 degree reflector with improved rec re reflectivity and light efficiency uh, independent dimming button on the external driver zero to 100 percent setting adaption and up to 30 leds daisy chained in a group which is unusual for a small light, but a nice feature. And a uh, very good value for money, it says. Okay, short and sweet. Let's have a look. Okay, so what have we got? User manual, grow on earth, grow with Mars. Confusing, did I get it, I suppose? Uh, that's for all the models, nothing too specific. Okay, yes. It's a white metal one instead. We've got the packing stuff. We've got uh, little hangers, <coughs> the daisy chain or J network, networking connection, and two ratchet hangers. Got a power lead, the Euro one, and the light. Okay. This does look a little bit nicer, I have to say, than before. Remember the old um, aluminium one with the patterned surface? It was effective, but not the prettiest. Now this one is, um, seems larger. I'll have to check that later and uh, let you know. So we got the array of what looks like 3K and 5K color temperature LEDs. 3K are the lighter yellow which have um, less phosphorus coating over the, um, what is essentially a blue LED underneath. So that does less um, diffraction of light. The darker orange has more phosphor in it that gives more diffraction. More diffraction means more reds basically. So the mixture of uh, cool white and warm white. And then we've got, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 18. Um, 660 nanometer reds. Nicer little um, covering over the cable. And uh, yeah, not much else. Reflector is quite nice. This is pieced together, so it has been has little tabs on it connecting it together. And um, quite solid. Um, pretty nicely finished, I have to say, quite clean. The LEDs aren't coated on this one, so there's no coating, it's dry on top. But sometimes, well, most grow lights now these days have the acrylic coating they've chosen not to on this model. And then on the back, ah, interesting. Okay, so Mars Hydro driver on this one, model Mars Hydro 150MA41B. So, um, what is the number standing for 150 watts max output and 41b not sure usually that would be voltage or current it doesn't say it's power factor 0.95 which is very good um doesn't state efficiency it's got all the relevant markings by LG LED Solutions. So I think it's a partnership with um, this company, this other company. C marked ROHS IP67 ETL tested. So it's fully compliant, tested driver. And uh, yeah, nice little neat unit. It's got the Pretty standard now these days, um, a daisy chain dimming box attached onto the top. 
Both of these are in little mounting plates, slightly separated from the light, just to give a little bit of airflow underneath, which is great. Um, and isolated by little rubber bungs, so that's pretty cool. Our little upstands. It's not too much heat transfer between the the light, which is effectively a heater, um, as in the LED board, and the um, the driver itself. Got a connection here, running between the two, so. These, um, these, this can be remote, remotely positioned, the driver. I'll just see it now. Yeah. I'll do it. So, little thumb screws here on the driver. And if we take them off, yeah. But we would have to take the dimmer box off as well okay so you could have this whatever length this is that's about two meters you can have this connected to the light board or the light the fixture itself and then you can take off the dimmer box and the driver and lo locate them separately um, outside the tent if you want to do that which is uh, again a nice touch a little clunky they, you'd have to um, hang them separately, but it uh, works. So yeah, that's it. Not a huge amount to it. Um, so we will get this upstairs to the test area. I'm gonna hang it in a two by two. I'm gonna do the test. I will show you some of that. Okay, so I've got it set up now in the two by two. It is 16 inches or what's that, 47 centimeters? 40 centimeters, sorry. Um, above the sensor here. So that's where we'll be testing, the level that we'll be testing. The light is on full power. We're gonna leave it on for about half an hour till it gets up to full temperature. Efficiency reduces just a little bit when the unit um, gets up to full temperature and then I'm going to do the test. So I'll show you doing the test as well. Okay, it's up to temperature now. Knock off the other lights around. The studio lights. So I'm not getting a false reading. Make sure this is up full. Yes, it is. I've got a grid here. And you can see it with the glare but it's got a square every six inches. So there's four this way and four that way. So I'm gonna take four by four, 16 power measurements with the spot on quantum sensor. And then we're gonna look at the results. Here we go. Okay, I've got the results here. It's gonna to put together the Parma, and we'll have a look at the results. Okay, so the results are in. Um, drew 149.6 watts from the wall, 150 water. So quite a big light to be putting into a two by two. Quite a lot of power. Um, from a power point of view, it gives a very even spread, that hanging height. Possibly could be a little bit lower, but um, not much. And delivers an average of 752 micromoles per meter square per second. Um, that level of power is a pretty high performance level. And getting up around the 800 range is a good performance level for maximizing the yield from that size space. Efficiency is 1.81 micromoles per watt or usable PPF per watt. It's not the highest, but reasonable given, the, um, given it's a good value um, budget light. And uh, yeah, interesting developments. Not huge changes from Mars, Hy Mars Hydro, but um, interesting to see they got their own badge driver. And uh, yeah, they've um, upgraded from the, what I would 
disparagingly have called the uh, baking tin reflector, but uh, looks less like a baking tin now anyway. Um, yeah, nice little light. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will try and get back to you. Take care.